Parkinson's Foundation and so Welterweight Championship or Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. Jane 80 from Las Vegas, Nevada, the third man in the ring, and we're set to go. His round number one, scheduled for 12. And the electricity, Colonel. Unbelievable, the enthusiasm in this boxing ring, which is really the bull ring in Mexico City. 54,000 strong, and they could have sold 100,000 tickets. It was sold out several days ago. Eric Morales in the white trunks, and Ken the Scotsman in the black trunks. And the tradition of the great Jimmy Watt and Ken Buchanan and so on, you could go down the line. Can he perform in? Nice dipping motion to get away from Morales. Now, make no mistake, Eric Morales is not the fighter he was five years ago, but he's still a great former world champion. And he's got great experience, great knowledge of the sport, and he's very well prepared for this particular fight. Folks, watch the muscles in the leg to see them get off their power base as they shoot their shots. Don't forget to look down below. That's where your base of power is. This crowd is absolutely bonkers here. They're so in favor of Morales, who hasn't done anything yet. Nice positioning by Willie Lyman, staying out of harm's way here. And Eric, who's been training in the Otomi Mountains, that's been his tradition to, to go ahead and train up there in the altitude. So he's in great physical shape to fight in this altitude. Digging body shot by the former world champ. The present world champ of the WBU is Willie Lyman in the black trunks from Glasgow in Scotland. Wild with the right hands. And sails over the ducking head of Morales. And look at the technician, Morales. Very subdued movement, but just stocking, stocking and measuring Lyman. Lyman slides around. Let's go with the first really solid right hand, but it doesn't quite catch Morales. Lyman has a nice uh, way that he slips around, skips around, avoids shots. Made right. Morales miss that one. And look at his legs. I mean, he's got some pretty nimble nimble feet, especially the way he bounces around from side to side with that. Well, he's got the right idea. You want to come straight on against, even though it's an aging Eric Morales, you don't want to do that against this guy. He's got too much experience. And look at the youngster get away from him, does a nice job. When I say youngster, he's 31, so he's champ now, and he would love to knock off this guy. What a credit on his uh, marquee if he knocks off Eric Morales in Mexico. On Independence Day, oh, in the man. bull ring. Mm. That's it. it all, it's all stacked up against Willie Lyman, but we'll see if he can even overcome those. And the other thing is the altitude. That was a bit of a slip right there by the Morales. You know, while he's fighting for the first time outside of Scotland, or the UK, I should say, for this title, this guy's a world-class fighter, and he is a Olympic silver medalist. Yes, so this is. guy has had plenty of international competition. Nobody's winning this round definitively. The judges may give it to Morales, but I think that the Scotsman has won the round. He's done more. He's thrown more. He's landed more. And he deserves the round. I'm giving it to Lyman. And Raul Robles. All right, here we go. This is round two. Benny and I were split on the first round. Are you serious, Benny? Did you really think Morales won that round? Yeah. Okay. 10 9. And then I get a 10 9 the other way. So we expect perhaps the judges have it split as well. No. Now I'm looking for Eric to go ahead and step it up right here. Well, he's got to do that because he may have let the first round slip away. I like the movement of uh, Willie. He's, he's certainly not intimidated anymore. You know, Benny, you're a professional football player. Once you get in that first play, all the butterflies go away. Once you get your first hit. Absolutely. And once you land your first hit, more than anything. And it's the same in boxing. All the hype, everything goes away once you start fighting. Then it reverts back to the train. I mean, Lyman is controlling the first uh, minute of this second round to me. Yeah, Eric is still just trying to go ahead and find the body of Lyman. He hasn't been able to find that body. A couple of light taps there with the right hand, but Lyman not hurt at all. Nice stiff jab that time by Morales, and Lyman comes right back, bangs him to the body. Lyman's fighting well. He's moving well. When he gets in the kill zone, he's throwing, and he gets away nicely that time. Let's see about after the fourth round, though, because that's when the altitude's going to start showing some signs. Ever hear of the Scottish Highlands, Benny? How high is that? More than a mile. Yeah, but it doesn't have smog in it, though. Oh, yeah. Not quite as bad as uh, Mexico City, but no place in the world has smog like this place. I'm telling you, the air is so thick in Mexico, you take a bite out of it, you get a taco. <laughs> I take a bite of it, and I can feel the grit in my teeth here. Look at this. This kid's out boxing the great Eric Morales right now, halfway through round number two. And this crowd is waiting to erupt, but so far Eric hasn't given him anything to erupt over. Eric misses again. 
The reason for that is that Lyman's positioning is perfect. Whoever trained him for this fight has got a perfect fight plan to this point. Now, what Benny says is true. The height might get him because the Scottish Highlands, in all honesty, don't measure up to what he's facing here in Mexico City. But he's used some scientific methods to train, too. He was in an air chamber getting his lungs in condition. So he's done, I think he's done all the right things. He looks quicker in the hands than is Eric Morales. But again, Eric has got the tremendous experience. And you know what? Lyman's confidence is growing here. Yeah, and it will continue to grow. Much like a guy named Leon Spinks many years ago against Muhammad Ali. You start taking rounds from a champion, and you start getting brave. If he gets brave, it could be dangerous because Morales can punch. But Willie Lyman's outboxing him. And he 28, looks a lot 27, quicker. 26 seconds ago. He looks quicker, Colonel. Lyman just looks a lot slicker with the feet. Eric is like trying to reach him, and he's extending himself. And Lyman lands a looping right hand right down the middle that time. That was taken on the gloves. Eric can't catch this guy. Nice movement. The crowd doesn't like it because they want to see a brawl like we saw in the last fight. But technically, this is a better fight. Lyman doing everything perfect. His defense is sensational, and he's doing it up offensively to win the rounds. Don't be surprised if he upsets uh, Eric Morales. Ian Dock, of course, one of the very best okay. broadcasters in the U.K., Boy, I heard him call some soccer during the World Cup, and Ian, if you're watching tonight, I want to say you are sensational, my friend. And right say so you saw Jay Nady asking Peter Harrison to go ahead and remove some of the Vaseline he had put on the face of Willie Lyman. Too much of it. Nice stiff jab the time of Morales. We're in round three. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan along with Benny Ricardo. The Bull Ring, Mexico City, the venue. And this is terrific stuff. So far, Morales hasn't been able to open up because of the defense and movement of Lyman. Will Lyman slow down with the altitude? Look at this, he's making a miss. The great five-time world champion in three divisions can't hit this kid. And now they're singing, they're singing here now, urging on Eric Morales. And the crowd's really into it, and it's very hard to express the enthusiasm of the crowd. Now, every time Eric does something, the crowd just gets really excited. Very tough for this Scotsman, but he is a tough Scotsman. Look at this kid, he turns up the pace. No better way to quiet a crowd than a long sustained drive in a home city against a home city in football or nail the local guy in boxing four or five times. Eric cannot get close enough to Lyman to work the body. That's the thing that's something that's really frustrated Eric. He's trying to work behind that jab, but he can't get any closer than that. Lyman's done not only a great job in the ring. Look at that double jab back to the body back upstairs. He's taken 54,000 lunatic Mexicano fans, aficionados, out of the fight. And he's all by himself here from Scotland. Right now, he's a very nimble-footed fighter with great movement. Again, let's see if the altitude takes his toll on that movement. You know, those punches by Morales look good, but we can tell right here he's pulling away was Lyman, so there was no effect. you got to be effectively aggressive. Now, what Lyman has to do to get an explanation point on this round is to land a solid shot because... Morales really hasn't landed anything solid. That's a solid shot right up in the temporal bone. And look at the swelling underneath the left eye of uh, El Terrible. Nice like, little elbow yeah, job right there. I like right the way you use that wing. you got to be tough to be a prize fighter. And they don't come any tougher than guys from Tijuana. Unless perhaps you're from the tough streets of Glasgow. Nice chopping shots. Here he is taking this round away. 33 seconds, 32, 30 seconds to go in the third round. And Lyman's out boxing oh, a five-time champ. Jay Cut Terrible hanging on and hitting. This kid is not intimidated by the fame of Eric Morales whatsoever. But he's staying in front of Eric Morales now, though, a lot more than he was in the previous round. Not a good idea, but he gets his angle, blasts him twice, and then gets out of there. The old Angelo Dundee hit and don't get hit. And that's what he's done. He's won this round, Benny. I swear I'm saying that not because I'm a Celt, but because the Celt is outboxing the very popular Mexican fighter in Eric Morales. Here comes the bell to end round three. I get Lyman winning them all. And so, yes, he is a fighting Irishman, which makes him a Celt and in favor of Willie Lyman. But Notre Dame lost today, though, so let's throw that in there. Round number four from the bull ring in Mexico City. So did Samuel Peter lost uh, his opportunity to win the heavyweight championship of the world over in Stuttgart, Germany. When Klitschko, Vladimir, did the job again, stopping him in the 10th round of the heavyweight championship of the world. And 
Boy, these Klitschko brothers seem unstoppable in the heavyweight division. They're scientists. Scientists with tremendous natural assets, reach, power, speed, and very intelligent in the ring. And bionic trainers. Morales has been that way, but so is Willie Lyman. Lyman in the black trunks. He's from Scotland, from Glasgow. The tough streets of Glasgow, I might add. Boy, you can see that. You can see Eric wants to do it, but the body's just not able to do it. It's what the mind wants to do, what the body's able to do. It's not connected. You know, when you visit Scotland, Benny, Glasgow is like an industrial city. And you go over to Edinburgh, it's like uh, just a beautiful city like Washington, D.C. But the people in Glasgow love their sport. The Glasgow Rangers. Boy, Lyman doing a good job of moving. Great movement so far by Lyman. Oh, look at this stuff. Man, this is really good. And that, that was a heavy blow. It didn't shift Morales by any way, shape, or manner. Remember, Willie's only got eight knockouts in his 33 victories. Yeah, that's a 22% right there. Morales has got 34 knockouts again in 49 victories against much higher opponents. But again, Morales, while he's 34 years of age, and we see guys fighting to 38 and 39 and into their 40s, in the case of uh, Evander Holyfield, even later than that. But Morales has been in wars. Lyman hasn't. So his chronological age might be older. Well, not his chronological age, but his boxing age could be older than 34. Absolutely, because from 1997, after he beat Daniel Saragossa, if you look at the quality opponents in those next 10 years until he finally retired, it is absolutely amazing. Well, I mean, Dotted with Hall of Famers. And you talk about David Diaz, Manny Pacquiao twice, and all the wars with uh, Michael Antonio Barrera. Morales trying to do something, but Lyman doing a nice job counter-punching. You know, gets the jab out there, but where's anything behind it? This is not the Morales that we saw against Marco Antonio Barrera. It's not the Morales we saw against Manny Pacquiao. Now he's scoring and the crowd comes to life, but look at Willie bounce right back. Yeah, but I'm telling you, wait till the later rounds. Wait till the fifth or sixth. Then we're going to find out about the physical condition of Lyman. Well, Lyman's face is starting to puff up a bit now. So, Eric, in this series, in the last 20 seconds of this round, Eric has looked as good as he has at any time in the fight. But I don't think it's enough to give him this round. Willie looked like he was struggling in the last 30 seconds. This thing now. Lyman, this is a very important round for uh, Willie. Willie Lyman to the right of your screen in the black trunks with the kind of silver uh, looks gray on your screen. And in the white trunks is uh, the five-time world champ, Eric Morales. I didn't hear the announcement of the cards. Okay. Remember, they have open scoring, and because of the noise in the bull ring, we couldn't hear the scoring by the WBC officials after four rounds. So we don't know how they have it. I've got Lyman in front by two points. Benny has him in front by one point. I got it even. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you get two rounds. Of, uh, I got it even right now. It's academic because this fight's about to take a change, I believe. See, Willie's not, well, I was about to say he's not giving it the same movement, but he's waiting too much now. He's letting Morales come in instead of being the ring general. Gradually, Morales has become the ring general here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. No, no, He's no. Still got his good positioning. Here, Jay say, no, no, no. That's because he backhanded him. That's an illegal punch. But look at the opportunities here for Eric to attack the body. And he's not. Right, 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 he goes uh, down. Just as you said it, yeah. he did it. But see, Eric is now beating him to the punch. He's more aggressive. Willie's not moving quite as much as he was. He's not circling as much. He's doing a little bit of bouncing side to side. What he's got to do is sneak off that left shoulder of Morales, throw out his jab, take down the left hand, and throw the right hand right on top of that cheek. When he realizes he can do that, and it'll be very effective. That time, Morales caught him with the right hand high on the cheekbone. And on Morales' behalf, what he's got to do is throw that jab and then come around to his left. Try to dig that left hook to the body and then follow up with a straight right. But Benny, you just saw three jabs, which is usually a good idea, but they weren't thrown with malice of forethought. No. Morales just landed one jab. There was a punch. Minute to go in the fifth round. Here comes the scoring now. You able to pick it up at all? I can't hear with the crowd noise in here. Yeah, I wasn't able to pick it up either. Well, they just announced that the crowd whistled, which in Latin countries 
means they don't like it. So they may have Lyman out in front like I do. But Eric Morales is winning this round. And he won the last round. But I tell you what, Willie My Lyman is moving a Stop. lot right now. Stop! He's moving around a lot, and that's taking away. That's requiring tremendous physical condition. Well, one thing that's good for Willie Lyman is he's got a referee who doesn't let guys do too much on the inside. I remember Jay refereeing the fight between Johnny Ruiz and Roy Jones Jr. I watched the replay several times, and Jay wasn't intrusive at all in that, but uh, he still didn't allow any, you know, wild stuff on the inside. I don't know. I got to get that to Joe City, the venue. Benny Ricardo with me. The principal's Eric Morales in the white trunks to the upper portion of your screen in the black trunks that get from Scotland. Willie Lyman, who needs this round desperately. He can't let this round sneak away from him. They're both waiting. You know what the problem is now? Willie doesn't have the positioning. He's in the kill zone and not throwing. And Eric will use his experience to take advantage of that. Look watch how he's coming into the kill zone and not throwing. And watch the mouth of the lineman. It's opening up now, trying to get some extra air. Yeah, that one just grazed the top of his temporal bone, but that was ticketed for the jaw. And both guys missing a lot right here. That's a sign of a little bit of fatigue. Also, it's a sign of movement. You see Lyman trying to get those legs pumped up and get that blood going through his thighs. Eric on the other hand choosing to be very patient, just kind of waiting for his time. But now again, those are opportunities to attack the body, and he's not doing it. Remember, he's folks, when your body lacks oxygen, it's throughout your whole body. You can cramp up, you can have problems with your heart in terms of rapid heartbeat, which at this age and these guys are in such great shape, it doesn't affect them permanently, but it has an effect on how they move and it has an effect on their reflexes and it has an effect on their timing. So the lack of oxygen at a high altitude is more than just, hey, it's tough to fight. And look at that big miss right there by Lyman. Big windmill miss right there. Halfway through the sixth round, again, Morales is doing more, landing more. Lyman appears to be wilting a bit. And with that comes the fatigue in the mind. Nice uh, sneaky right hand there by Lyman, but it didn't shift Morales. Morales is in a different zone now than he was in the first three rounds of the fight. Nice Good. dropping right hand by Willie. Why wow, with the right hand. And that woke up Eric Morales. Taking body shot. He didn't want to set up in front of this guy and let him rip to the body. Chopping right hand. He's hurt. Yeah, he's got to be trouble. He he's is. down. Lyman was hit to the body shot. And it hurt him six, six seven, eight. eight. He gets up. Okay. okay, let's work. There's no air, Colonel. There's no air in those lungs. He's in a heap of trouble. Dicky body shot. He's not going to make it. He will not survive it. He's out on his feet. If he gets hit, there it is again. 11 shot. Two. And you Three. hear the reaction. Up to four. four and five. You'll be Six. able to get up. And with Seven. a count, Eight. he may okay. survive the round okay. now. Eric will jump on him. There's no free knockdown rule. So if he goes down again, the fight isn't over. But can he survive? He has to take a knee. Jay says that's it. It's all over. The fight is all over. The liver shots did it. Eric Morales has done it in a fight that didn't start out in his favor. He came back to defeat the WBU champ, Willie Lyman. The Reds have taken it, a liver shot. And here he is, setting it up. That's a right hand. He misses with that, but now he's able to go ahead and get in close. There's that shot. That's the shot right there that absolutely jar your organisms. And it's right to the liver, and that is one painful state that Willie Lyman found himself in. We saw some terrific body shots throughout the night, but none better than these closing effort by Eric El Terrible Morales. This is why, say in trouble, but things weren't good. These devastating shots of the... Well, uh, Ladies and Jimmy. gentlemen, damas y caballeros, tenemos el tiempo, dos minutos, 46 segundos, round number six. The time, two minutes. 46 seconds in round number six. The referee in charge, Jay Nady State, stops the contest. El referee paró la pelea. El ganador por knockout técnico, Eric El Terrible.